Hello, and welcome to Sleeping Saints. My name is Jermaine, and on this podcast, we rest with gratitude. If this is your first time, Thank you, we release new episodes every two weeks and one thing that some people do is they set up playlists so that episodes play one after the other so there's no pressure or rush to fall asleep. If you've been with us for a while and you've been feeling the benefit of Sleeping Saints, feel free to tell others that we're here and even to support us either with a one-off donation or by becoming a member. You can find out all the details by going to our website sleepingsaints.co.uk and click donate. You can also find the link in the show description. This episode of Sleeping Saints has a slightly different format. It's going to be a combination of prayers and psalms to encourage you and help you to drift off to sleep. If you enjoy this format and want to hear more, please get in touch. You can do so via our website. Let's begin by getting comfortable. Get into a comfortable position. Maybe you're already in bed with your head on the pillow. Put the to-do list down for today. Take a deep breath. And direct your thoughts instead of the to-do list towards the Creator, your Heavenly Father. And now that we've done that, let's pray. Our Father in heaven, your name is the sweetest and most powerful name we know. You are so strong, yet so gentle with us. You are patient with us.
in our journey with you. You never run off and leave us because we're taking too long. You never leave us to our own devices because we can't do life by ourselves. You love us enough to give us free will that we can choose to follow you. You don't make us or force us How can we choose anyone else? How can we take any other path when your grace is so amazing? We look back over our day today. The victories, the disappointments, the wins and the losses. It's just one day. We say sorry for the things we didn't do well. And we pray that you give us new opportunities to be our best selves and represent you in your fullness. And and now we prepare to sleep. Be with us. Relax our minds. Let there be just thoughts of you as we pray. In Jesus' name, amen. Psalm 145, verse 14 to 21. The Lord upholds all who are falling and raises up all who are bowed down. The eyes of all look to you and you give them food in due season you open your hand you satisfy the desire of every living thing the Lord is righteous in all his ways and kind in all his works. The Lord is near to all who call on him, to all who call on him in truth. He fulfills the desire of those who fear him. 
he also hears their cry and saves them. The Lord preserves all who love him. But all the wicked he will destroy. My mouth will speak the praise of the Lord. And let all flesh bless his holy name forever and ever. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks for everything. Our bodies have been blessed by you. Our hearts have been enriched by you. Our lives have been transformed by you. We're preparing to go to bed and we make you a priority right now in this moment. We want thoughts of you to occupy our headspace. And with that in mind, we want to cast out anything that is not of you. Anything that resembles hate, malice, unease. We don't want it. We don't need it. We give it up and take more of Jesus instead. Show us the person we need to be. You've already mapped out our lives. You knew us and formed us before we were in our mother's womb. We pray that we can live out our purpose according to your will. We pray that we stay on track, never faltering or wavering and even when we do put a step wrong we pray that you will direct us back to you it's not your will that any of us perishes It's your will that we have abundant life. So we ask that our lives are so full of you. Fill us up, Lord. 
we love you so much. Amen. Psalm 146 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, O my soul. I will praise the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praises to my God while I have my being. Put not your trust in princes, in a son of man in whom there is no salvation. When his breath departs, he returns to earth on that very day, his plans perish. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord his God, who made heaven and earth the sea and all that is in them, who keeps faith forever, who executes justice for the oppressed, who gives food to the hungry, the Lord sets the prisoners free. The Lord opens the eyes of the blind. The Lord lifts up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the righteous. The Lord watches over the sojourners he upholds the widow and the fatherless. By the way of the wicked, he brings to ruin. The Lord will reign forever. Your God, O Zion, to all generations. Praise the Lord. Heavenly Father, our best friend, our everything. You are the top of every list we write. You are the best thing to ever happen to us. You are the blessing that we can't ever quantify. We love you because you showed love to us. We didn't earn anything from you. We didn't work hard to get your attention. Your love was enough to drive you to action.
it's undeserved, unmerited favour. It's grace. It's love. Where would we be without it? Where would we be without you, Lord? Our hearts yearn for you. Like the deer pants for the water, our souls long for you. We were made to worship you. We were designed to need you, to rely on you, to connect with you. So we take this time now to do just that. We want to, we want to connect with you before we go to sleep. We want that peace in knowing you are here with us. Every second we spend in your presence is amazing. So in this moment, we bask in you. We don't waste anything. You're here and we're thankful. Amen.